In today's episode, we will be looking at the circumstances that led to the origin of the famous Union Jack and some interesting facts related to it. So, it was James the 6th of Scotland who inherited the throne of England and Ireland as James the 1st, thereby uniting the crowns in a personal union also known as the Union of Crowns. All this happened in the year 1603. It was then in the year 1606 that James the 1st felt the need of a national flag that would represent the Great Britain. He decided on adopting a flag that would bear the essence of St. George's Cross, the flag of England, and the saltire of St. Andrew's Cross, the flag of Scotland, thus forming the flag of the Great Britain. Then it was in the year 1801 when the Union of Great Britain and Ireland took place with the passage of the Acts of Union 1800 and George III became the ruler of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. So again the necessity was felt to design a new national flag, this time merging the St. George's Cross and the Saltire of St. Andrew's Cross with the St. Patrick's Cross. Now, when a red cross was merged with a white saltire and a red saltire, the now famous Union Jack came into being. We know that the United Kingdom is formed by England, Scotland, Northern Ireland and the Wales. But you must have noticed that as such Wales has not been represented in the Union Jack. The main reason being that the Union Jack was designed many years after the invasion and annexation of Wales in the year 1282. So in 2007 the Welsh Member of Parliament Ian Lucas came up with the issue in the House of Commons and the same was considered as a valid point by the then minister Margaret Hodge. After this discussion, many designs started pouring in from the public. One such was this, an Union Jack with a red dragon from the flag of Wales in the middle. However, no further decision was taken in this regard. Another debate that has been on the cards since the inception of the flag was that if it can be called the Union Jack, with many reasoning that Jack is the word for a flag used on the bow of a ship. This too is another long drawn debate and for now both Union Flag and Union Jack are synonymous. Union Jack is not merely the national flag of the United Kingdom but is also represented in many other flags, mostly in the canton, that is the top inner corner of a flag. However, it is also found to be embedded as an element in various positions in some flags. We shall now simply look at the flags where the Union Jack has been used. It can of course be found in the national flags of some nations in the Commonwealth. These nations being Australia, New Zealand, Tuvalu from the Commonwealth realm and the Fiji from the republics in the Commonwealth nations. Now, the Commonwealth realm consists of sovereign states where Queen Elizabeth II or her successors are still the reigning constitutional monarch or the head of the state, while the republics in the Commonwealth nations, as the name suggests, are full-fledged republics just like our India. The Union Jack can also be found in the flags of many British overseas territories, which includes Akrotiri and Decalia that is represented by the Union Jack itself. The others are Anguilla, Ascension Island, Bermuda, British Antarctic Territory, British Indian Ocean Territory, British Virgin Islands, Cayman Islands, Falkland Islands, Montserrat, Pitcairn Islands, St. Helena, South Georgia and the Sandwich Islands, Tristan de Cunha, and the Turks and Caicos Islands. There are also some territories under New Zealand with flags bearing the Union Jack. 
These includes Ross Dependency, which is the Antarctic Territory of New Zealand, and Cook Islands and Niwa, both of which being internally self-governing territories under the realm of New Zealand. There are also provinces, states and counties of other countries whose flags bear the Union Jack. Flags of four Canadian provinces of British Columbia, Manitoba, Newfoundland and Labrador and Ontario bears the Union Jack. Flag of the six Australian states also bear the Union Jack. The six states being New South Wales, Queensland, South Australia, Tasmania, Victoria and West Australia. The flag of the US state of Hawaii and the US counties of Somerset, Maryland and West Maryland County, Pennsylvania also bears the Union Jack. The flags of some cities across the world also bears the Union Jack. This includes the US cities of Baton Rock, Mobile and Taunton and the Chilean city of Coquimbo. Two more flags are worth mentioning here. Though these flags are of the past and have been replaced since then, they also bear the Union Jack. This includes the Canadian Red Ensign, which was the civil ensign of Canada and also their informal national flag until being replaced in the year 1965. The other is the Orange Blanche Blau, the national flag of South Africa from 1928 to 1994. So, this was all in today's episode about the Union Jack. Don't forget to tune in for the next episode.